Hey guys, Will here. And uh, about a couple years ago, I made an unboxing video and an overview video of the Lenovo N22 Chromebook. Uh, it's a great Chromebook. We're actually still using these in our school. Um, I really like them, but we just ordered the new Lenovo N23 Chromebooks, so I thought I'd make an unboxing video and just uh, an initial setup overview and features of it. So let's get started. All right, so here it is right here. Um, you know, just comes in the standard Lenovo box. Uh, pretty, pretty easy to use. Let's move it closer here, and we'll get it opened up. Remember, these are pretty bare bones when you get them opened up here. Um, so in the box, you have your protective packaging. You have the N23 itself. Uh, a little sheet here that just gives you a quick tutorial and controls of everything. And of course, your charger. So these chargers are actually the exact same from the N22. So if you have the N22s, uh, you can use these chargers, which I think is really, really handy because you know those can get misplaced every now and then. Let's get this plugged in, powered on. So we can see here, um, I'm already noticing, just doing a size comparison, they are, the N22 is just a little bit larger, so the N22 is back here and this is the N23 up front. Um, so the N23 is a little smaller and it already feels heavier than the N22. The N22 is pretty plasticky, I'm not, feels a little childish. Um, this this definitely feels more like an actual computer and less of a toy when you open it up remove the protective cloth and then of course we have our charging on the side we have an hdmi full hdmi uh, sd card reader and a usb and then we have a usb high speed super speed all right so it's plugged in, it's powered on, and we have our welcome screen. All right. So on our welcome screen, ooh, this already feels better. The uh, N22s really have that plastic feeling and I'm not a big fan of the clicking on them. Let's get this set up on Wi-Fi. Okay, so once you have the password in, you just go through it, accept and continue. And if you're a school or a business, of course, you want to set up um, your enterprise enrollment, which is Control-Alt-E. And then you log into that. And then, of course, enter in your password. Oops. Helps if you enter in the passwords, right? Once it's enrolled, it's going to come back and we'll be ready to go. While it's doing that, I'm just going to go over the basic keyboard of it. Um, so you do have the standardized keyboard here, which I honestly love. I think it's great, especially for students. Uh, on the top row there, we can zoom that in. So just like the um, just like the N22, we have our escape. We have um, forward, backwards buttons, refresh, uh, our enlarge. This I believe is our uh, connecting to another display. Then, if we look over here, in my last video, I made the mistake of calling um, 
this one here a settings button that's not settings this is actually your screen brightness lower brightness enhanced brightness mute uh, then of course we have over here our volume and power button so it is very much a standard keyboard I really like this it feels good all around um, of course if we show this up here one of my favorite things about the N uh, the Lenovo's is that reversible uh, webcam there or the reversible camera and this one actually feels way more sturdy than the N22's as well um, the N22's I always felt like I was going to break it by trying to rotate it this one definitely feels better overall I'm pleased with these uh, I think it's a great product I think it feels more sturdy feels more like a a real laptop and less plasticky and cheap. Anyways, I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure you leave this video a thumbs up and you can subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.